Okay. Papi's home. Let's do this. Uh, kind of. I'm not. I'm probably gonna seem like I'm rushing. I'm gonna try to do it very uh, yeah, quickly, but not quickly. Uh, I gotta be. I'm on a time schedule. Either way, I got this up, and the sheet music is up. Went ahead and did that before this video. Um, and I have a singing to uh singing cover of uh the new Marvel movie that came out. It was a song that was really done by 88 Risings. That's besides the point. Let's get to Poppy. It's home. So I'm play to it real quick. Real quick. Um. Beats. Uh, a lot of church chords, honestly, but you know, luckily I play the church. Don't say nothing, cousin CJ. He knows the secret. Either way, this is the chords. A D. Get right to it. A D in your left hand. In your right. I'm showing you exactly what I play. Okay. Uh, F G A. Okay. And a C. That's very full. Now, F A C. Acceptable, but not here. You're gonna wanna hit all these. F G A C. F G A C. Read that. F G A C. Write these down. Just write them all down. Um, like I always say. Right here, first chord. Okay? Now, right here, you're probably gonna wanna use your sustain pedal to hold that. Um, to get good at ma making this transition. Because right after there, there's that little lick. Right? It's not up there, but you know. It's... I was trying. Okay, so let's do it. Hold. Okay, and then there's a chord here. But let's talk about this. That is an A, D, G, an A, a D, and a G. Now I'm I got three fingers, and they're all sitting on each of those notes like that. Now your hands might not be that big or be that flexible to do that. But um, get used to, if you got one finger, you can just hit that real quick. Just keep doing that. Or use the sustain pedal and hold. Really good way to practice that. But either way, we're right here. Right? Now, this chord is going to have a B in the bass. Now, I'm all three. A B, F sharp. Uh, in a B, but you know, you can just do one B or that or an octave, two B's or the F sharp two. I'm gonna do you know all three. So B in the bass. Gotcha. Your right hand. A D F. Okay. That's where we go after. And if you notice, you ain't that far from the chord. If you hit if you hit this, there's only one other note, and that's what you're hitting for that. Doo -doo -doo. Just you'll notice that. Now this next chord is kind of funky. Okay, so what I do is I got an E and G, or you can just use the E, but I got an E and G, right? Uh, let's see where we at. I got an A, D, and G. A, D, G. A, D, G. Out of this, you go right, actually right back to the chord that we were um, just talking about. Well, not, it wasn't a chord, but now it is. Um, but these notes, A, D, G. So technically, your hands ain't moving that much in that section. Let's show you from the top. Okay. Right now. See what I'm saying? You went right back to it. So right here, you're kind of right here. So just keep going back, uh, rewind the video, write these notes down, and practice going, you know, trying to get those transitions. Uh, but like I said, E, G on this one. A, D, F. A, D, G, sorry. A, D, G in my right, and an E and a G in my left. Okay, or just an E, but I'm gonna use this. 
Um, and then from here, you're going to come in on these two notes. So it's an F and an A flat. Now, if you can, go ahead and hit the, the B as well. A F, A flat, and B. This is what I how I play it. Okay, you got an A, C, and an F. Or you can, if you can, put that D in there too. And you have an A, C, D, F. That's a really nice chord to learn. It's in a lot of cool songs. Um, actually, this whole song has a lot of cool chords that are in a lot of cool songs. So um, I'm just gonna do these transitions again. Okay. All right, now. See what I'm saying? A, D, F with a F, um, A flat or keep the or keep the F right here. So where was we at with this one? It was. You can get that off, but it just it don't sound as cool. Watch. And from here, you're going straight to the A in your uh, left hand. Okay. And in this hand, you're gonna go, you're right, you're gonna go G, C, E. Gotcha? This is where it gets fun when you get to this part. Because right after here, this A in the bass, and in your right hand, a G, C, E. Right after here, we're gonna go straight to this chord. Very churchy, I love it. Uh, this is, a, I actually like this one. <laughs> CJ. D. F sharp, right? D, F sharp, D, F sharp, D, F sharp, D, F sharp. That's what's in your left hand. Uh, if you can, play the whole chord. You know what I mean? D, F sharp, A. Get it in there if you want to. Make it a little extra. But right now we're talking about a D and an F sharp. Practice this right here. What you see right here. So from here, it's a pause. Because usually a lot of times, that's a fun fact real quick. Hate to get off top, but... but you go here and then you would go like there and then but it was interesting but I like when they go here and then right and then come back but either way when you're here right on this chord that's the A in the bass uh, you come down after that little pause a D and an F sharp right and you go up here A C E okay A C E that change and then after this chord we're gonna go to a G in our left hand and I love this chord all the time so in my right F A B flat D okay we're almost there we're almost there it's a lot of <laughs> it's a lot but you get it it's 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 yeah so again at the A See that? So I want to see it. Yeah, that's nice. So let's practice that. You're probably gonna have to break this whole song up in sections just to get these transitions. One, two, three, four, because it's a timing thing too. Because it's not just that's a whole nother song. So and then and what's this chord? You got a C in your left. And a G C E. And this is a chord that we just used, except we had an A, right? That's what you start with. So boom, right? And then boom. And then boom. And then boom. Okay. And again, this is a C G. Uh C in your left and a G C E in your right. Okay. Now, let's see. And this is honestly where it's getting ready to restart. Uh, because the next chord you'll go to after this, you're coming out and you're going to uh, a really quick, it's a transition. Um, a, F, a F sharp in your left hand. Okay. And I'm going to show you all a little trick. You can just hit these three chords, these three notes. So A, C, D, right? Boom. So. 
and it would probably sound better in train in um uh, uh uh in context so you can you can also hit the the e as well but i'll show you so starting from the top right the d the d chord hope you wrote all of this down because if you write it down you should have all of these um remember how i said it bass under right draw a line and then what's in your right hand draw those notes on top of that line here we go from the top okay See what I'm saying? There's a And that's where it really starts because that's where it really kinda uh that's where it restarts. Once you Cause remember, at this point we're on a D. It just doesn't stay there. I mean it it goes into the next thing. I was why I like how the sample was because it just kinda flows. But either way, um like I said, we're on this one. F sharp in your left. A, C, D, just, and it's going to restart. That's how you get back to your, well, to the top, to the D. And you can use the same note. So F, G, A, C, and D. Technically, you're done. Technically, that's the song, right? Because that's a sample and it loops. Now, here's the thing. Um, you're right here with it. You're right here with it. Um, but, but just restart you just start over i don't know what to, i don't know what to tell you <laughs> you just start over so you're at the d and what if you wrote all this down you should know that after the d we went to a b so technically in the beginning we went to but you don't do that uh on that on this next part um that's only in front of the beginning but if you skip that part that part went to this so, that's what you go next. So I'll show you in full, and I'll go slow, I'll go slow. how you get back to the B. Sorry if I forgot to almost forgot to mention that. There's that part. Um and that's just walking your bass down. So you would hit it again. So D D D flat uh C B. So one, two, three. And when you land on this you so it's that trans so work on that transition. That would look like You see what I'm saying? Um, either way, uh, I would recommend, like I keep saying, write these notes down, okay? Write these notes down. Listen to the song. Uh, once you, this one's one of them you want to get the chords kind of under your under your hands and get used to these chords um, before you play along to it. Uh, if you're not familiar with these chords, get familiar with these chords. Get familiar with the pattern. Um, you've probably listened to the song a thousand times by now. Um, but definitely uh, get used to these chords. Get your hands, even if that means playing it slow. Like I always say, a trick that I would do is play it melodically to get an understanding where my hands are comfortable knowing where to go. Then you can play it faster and more comfortable and more confidently. So uh, I've given you the chords. You might need to go back and rewind. But, um, you know, this is what I would do to practice it. So... Just go slow.
but yeah, that's. But um, I, like I said, there's sheet music in there. Uh, I would recommend replaying the video. Eventually, I'm gonna learn how to put some daggone timestamps in these daggone videos, so I can maybe I don't know try to make it more easier. But that's the song. Um, hopefully this was helpful. Uh, yeah. But when you get it down, it should sound like um. Uh, just a good song to play too honestly if you want to you know play in front of your friends or your family and stuff it's a real cool song uh, but either way that's the song um write the chords down as i tell you write the chords down as i tell you uh please it'll help but either way that's the song poppy song the sheet music's in there um replay the video replay the video uh, i'll try to break it down um yeah that's it later